So I'm making this video to answer a question because explaining it in text in a comment is going to be difficult. Um, so I figure a video would just be quicker. But here you can see on my video on removing spaces from file names with said, um, someone asked at 3 minutes and 28 seconds into the video, my directory changed into the folder of one. Why is that? And that's something I didn't even realize happened when I was recording the video um, because the one directory in the directory I was in was actually had all the same files because it was the directory I tested stuff in before recording the video. So I think I kept going without even realizing it. But he's talking about up here and after running this command, you can see that it says my present, uh, my print working directory, my present working directory is now, uh, I went from temp names to, to temp names one. Okay, so let me show you this now. Okay, so in this, uh, little example here, I am, I can echo out dollar sign zero and you can see that I'm in bash, okay? And I'm in my home directory. And if I type in desktop, it says command not found, but I can CD into a folder called desktop, okay? Now, let me go into Z shell, which is what I was using in the video. Uh, and Z shell, if I go back to my home directory here and type in desktop, without doing CD, it automatically moves me into that directory. It's just one of those things that I like about Z Shell. It does it, it just assumes that if you type in a folder name without anything else, that you want to move into that folder. So that's what, it, what it's doing there. So what happened in the video? Well, now let me go up here where I have an example I can list out here. You can see I have four files, A, B, C, and D, and a folder called Z. Okay, so now if I was to run this command where I'm listing the directories and then I'm looping through each one and then I'm echoing out the name, it gives me an output like that. If I was to leave out this echo command, which is what happened in that video, I was using the move command, but same thing, I don't give any command. Right here, I'm just echoing each file's name. It's going to loop through each one and it's going to tell me A is not a command, B is not a command, C is not a command, D is not a command. But since I'm in Z shell and the way I have Z shell set up, when I get to a folder, in this case, folder Z, it's going to think I want to move into that directory, like so. A is not a command, B is not a command, C is not a command, D is not a command. But then it moved me into a folder when it came across a folder. And that is what happened. And that's something you have to be aware of if that's how your system's set up, because you can accidentally move into a directory by making a mistake like that, which is what happened to me in that video. Uh, and it would be very bad if I still thought I was in the other directory and tried to uh, erase files and I was in a different directory than I was in. But I hope that makes sense. Basically, since I didn't issue a command here, it's thinking the output of this command, since it's in a dollar sign brackets, that is the command I'm trying to run. And with Z shell, if it sees a directory with no other command, it moves you into that directory. So I hope that explains that. Uh, I think it's as clear as mud. Um, so if you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for asking. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.